I don't know if you're aware of Kaya, but it's a really exciting um, German startup. And they play in the healthcare space. So they have this, this app which is um, for people with, for example, chronic back pain. And it uses, um, it uses AI, it uses a, a number of advanced techniques to give you custom, custom exercise to reduce that chronic, chronic back pain. And actually work very closely with both universities to actually back this with medical research, but also um, with insurance companies to, to make this available to, to patients who suffer from, from chronic, chronic pain. So they're a really exciting, exciting company. When we started working with, with them at the beginning of this, this year, um, there were still fairly, fairly small, I think maybe 30 or 40 people strong, I think to now half a year later, um, I think three times, three times the size already. So they mm. really, really expanded in 20, 2019. Um, and it's a classic example of, of the type of company that Thomas described, which is it's a fast growing venture backed business. And they were at a point where they were using some existing tools like, like Amplitude and, and, and so on. They're really facing, hitting the limits of what is, what is possible with, with, those, with those products. Like they weren't able to really get to the more advanced insights because you're, you're ultimately constrained by the, by the limits that the UI forces, forces on you. They didn't yet have a data team, data team in place, so we came in, we worked with them for six months as, as an interim head of, head of data science, during which we helped them put in place um, Snowplow for event data collection. Um, we set up a number of other systems. They worked with Looker on the visualization side. So we, we put in place that, that data collection, built a data model on top of that, and we then built a set of, set of reports for the business, whether that's the, the B2B sales team, so that the people actually working with insurance companies or the product team or the, the marketing team. So each one of them had specific insights, specific problems, specific challenges they were facing, answers, they, answers to questions they couldn't answer before, like suddenly they could answer those, those questions. Um, and then we also, had helped them hire a, a head of head of data who then smoothly took over from and they're doing really really well i think they have like a, a, a four person data team now so it's really spreading in the in the business now with, with people working with every every team to to make sure they have what they they need it's all built on on, on snowplow plus a data model plus plus looker uh, another client is, uh, is lifecake Li lifecake is a company acquired by canon a couple of years ago that specializes in photo sharing for families. Um, Lifecake has a mission to make it so that your one-stop shop for every baby picture that you have of your newborn or of your growing children, that you can use Lifecake for that rather than WhatsApp messages or Instagram or Facebook or whatever people do these days. Um, we were able to migrate Lifecake from a home-built analytics pipeline that was not working for, everyone, for anyone in the company that, for example, did not allow cohort views, it did not allow any aggregated statistics, it did not allow any custom graphs. Um, we were able to migrate them to Snowplow, where uh, Snowplow running with some data models running on top of that allowed us to very quickly get them to understand exactly what was driving their retention when people would realize, ah, this, this app is actually something for me, I'm going to keep using this app rather than dropping out. Um, we did that in the space of about three to four months and discovered a kind of small uh, a very concrete segment definition that allowed them with almost 100% accurate accuracy to understand that these users, when they do these activities, that's the moment that they realize that this app is something for them. Um, and they have now since codified that and using it as one of their main success metrics for when users download the app and uh, hopefully convert later down the line to pro users. But they've also taken that piece of research that we've, that we've done uh, and extended on it to get to a very uh, sophisticated behavioral segmentation model that allows them to specifically track which user, which, which segment of users is more likely to convert than other segments of users now, which is why we're very happy to be a Snowplow partner since, uh, since uh, beginning of 2017, if I'm not mistaken.